Hi, you're with Chandeep at Gurli and let's take a look at the quotient function in Excel. Now, let's say we have an example here. We have uh, X number of chocolates on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have the number of children. And what we want to do is distribute these chocolates equally amongst these children. So let's say I'm going to pick up the chocolates, divide them by the number of children and press enter and drag it down. Now every child can get 5 chocolates but we have 0.55 extra. Similarly we have some decimals here, some decimals here, this is fine. Uh, some decimals here, some decimals here. You Now you cannot give 0.11 chocolate to everyone. You cannot break the chocolate you know, uh, in multiple small pieces. So I want to know that what is the exact number of chocolates that everyone can get. Well the quotient function can help you do that. Now the quotient function has got two inputs. The first input is what is your numerator, so this is my numerator and what is your denominator and this is my denominator. If I close the bracket and press enter this is going to give me only the quotient and not the reminder. And I drag it down. Now these are the quotients right it does not have remainder. So the quotient function generates only the quotient without any decimal places. I hope you like this. Um, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter or on YouTube. You can also read the blogs at goodly.co.in. Thank you so much for watching this and you take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.